I have a friend with cystic fibrosis. This is from Karen. Can the body code do something for her? I find it difficult to offer help because I don't want to give her false hope. Okay. Well, can the body code help cystic fibrosis? Well, let me ask you this question. Do you think that cystic fibrosis is a symptom of something? And the answer is absolutely yes. Um, do you think that with the body code, you might be able to figure out what the underlying uh, causes, the underlying imbalances are that are manifesting in this condition? And yeah, the answer to that should be absolutely yes. So, um, you know, uh, does everybody get well? Well, the answer to that is no. But, um, but you know, I got to a point in practice where I didn't really worry too much about uh, what people had been diagnosed with because I knew that if I could figure out what the underlying imbalances were and fix those, that, um, that people could get well in almost all cases, and they almost always did. Now, sometimes people have a sickness because they need to learn something from it. And I would always tell people, look, if you've learned whatever it is you needed to learn from this, then, you know, if God's willing, then you can get well. Sometimes people need to stay sick for some reason. Sometimes people want to be sick because what they find that when they're sick, and this is a kind of a subconscious thing, but sometimes people find that um, they can't seem to get well, and the deep underlying causes are that, you know, my husband is nice to me when I'm sick, and people give me attention when I'm sick, and when I'm sick, I don't have to work for a living, and people take care of me, and there's a lot of benefits, really, if you start to look at being really ill, uh, and sometimes people, you know, kind of almost wear their sickness like a badge, and I always tried to screen people um, when I was working with them, because uh, and I wasn't always successful, but, but I usually was. But I found that uh, if people, you know, really didn't want to get well, usually they wouldn't even show up at my door, you know, because they didn't really want to get better. And so, um, and that's one of, the, one of the reasons, I think, why sometimes we find conflicting answers, um, like, uh, like Isa was talking about, how, you know, the practitioner gets an answer and, and they get a different answer. And also, it's also a reason why sometimes the subconscious mind, their subconscious mind, will kind of be in the way sometimes of you being able to, to really fix them because, you know, there are some deep underlying reasons or fears or whatever why they don't want to get better.